Hey guys, currently I'm not in Florida. This vlog is just mostly going to be me commentating over photos and clips about what I did over there because I didn't vlog much while I was in Florida. For reasons I'll get into later, I'm sorry for not actually vlogging more down in Florida. I'll try to fix that for the remainder of this road trip. Promise. Look out for my next vlog, based on where I am right now. Virginia. But for now, let's get into the weirdness that was Florida. Yes, I will be getting into both boxing matches I went to while I was down there. But, from the beginning... My stay there was in a beachside resort, because I like beaches and I wanted to treat myself a little. You would think it would be nice, but it was one of the worst experiences out of all the hotels I stayed at so far on this trip. I would go into more detail on why, but I'm planning to make a vlog rating all the hotels I stayed at on this trip. And I only took three photos at this resort, which is what you're looking at right now. I'm a great vlogging YouTuber. Later that night, I went to the Logan Paul vs Mayweather fight, and I bought the cheapest seats I could, because I didn't care about it that much. Can you tell? It's like playing Where's Waldo, but instead of looking for Waldo, you have to find the stage! And the event was sponsored by Atari for some reason. When it began, I didn't care about any other fights before the main event, because I had no idea who those people were, and didn't care about boxing in general, so I didn't film any other fights. The only other entertaining thing that happened before the main event was watching the people who probably paid way more for their seats get rained on hard. <laughs> Yo. And they had to retreat to the cheaper seats, which, like mine, are actually covered. I have no idea why they haven't installed a retractable awning for the entire stadium yet. Plus, when they were captioning the national anthem, I have no idea why they put a question mark at the end of it. And the home of the brave? The only thing weirder was the OnlyFans hat. Finally, the main event begins. If Logan Paul wins, I'm buying a t-shirt. A summary of the fight. They're dancing so gracefully. And aww, they love each other so much. I don't feel like describing how it ended, because this happened weeks ago and you probably already know the outcome. I don't think I'm gonna be buying that t-shirt. I still bought a t-shirt. Honestly, I only decided to come to this event because it was happening a week before the boxing event I actually was hyped for. The YouTubers vs TikTokers event. Can you tell by what platform you're watching this on, and my lack of a TikTok account who I'm gonna be rooting for? The day finally comes, and I went with another YouTuber to the fight. Hey Atozi, I hope you don't mind me stealing some of your footage. Check out his video about the fight too. Anyway, in the car drive there, we were discussing who we wanted to win. Yeah, Ryan Johnson. Root, root for whoever who's on Team YouTube, because yeah. YouTube, I'm a YouTube, I'm a YouTube. Yeah. <laughs> and then we have Deji versus Vinny Hacker. Even though Deji is a YouTuber, don't like him, so I'm going for the TikTok, have to go for what? the TikToker. I wanted every YouTuber to win except for Deji, because I do not like Deji for a lot of reasons. Most of it can be summed up by these videos. And during all of these matches, I found out I was actually enjoying the event, because unlike the Logan Paul versus Mayweather fight, I actually cared about the outcome of each fight. I had so much fun that I didn't even shoot any video of the boxing. And my make-a-wish wish came true. Because every YouTuber who fought won against the TikToker. Except for Deji. Here's the several videos and photos I did take there. These seats were way better than the last ones. Because now, you can actually see the stage. This time the tickets were free, thanks to Keemstar and his manager. Here's us enjoying the deafening concert. <laughs> I measured the foot-long hot dog I bought to see if I got scammed. And I did. And near the end of the event, turns out we got the wrong seats because we were escorted to the sweets. Way more fancier and expensive. They also had free food, free drinks, and free merch. Which I did take advantage of. Team 
And that's the YouTubers vs TikTokers event. One of the reasons I didn't film much was because I wanted to enjoy myself and live in the moment. The other reason was because I know how strict these boxing events are with claiming videos that use footage from these types of fights. I didn't know if it also applies to in-person footage, and I didn't want to waste my time and risk my channel if I did vlog most of the event. But several YouTubers who were also there uploaded their vlogs of these events with no problems, so I regret not filming more. Speaking about those other YouTubers who were there, one of them was Swell Entertainment. She made a video about that boxing event too. And we also met up a day after the event to go to the Miami Zoo, which was also my last experience in Miami before leaving. Hot and sweaty was the perfect way to describe the experience there. The only content I got was four photos. But the next day, regret of not having vlogged more in Florida set in, so I picked up the camera to vlog one final experience. Hey guys, sorry that first part of the vlog was dubbed over mostly over photos and other clips. It's because I wasn't motivated to vlog while I was in Florida, but now I am! And I'm still in Florida, so this can go in the vlog. Right now I'm staying in a disgusting hotel. Don't ever stay at some place owned by Marriott. What's that? I also woke up several hours ago with pink eye. To be honest, I don't think it's pink eye because it's almost cleared up now. I don't know if it was from sleeping here, who knows. But yeah, for the final part of this Florida vlog, I'm gonna go on a train where you can park your car on it. Because honestly, I'm getting tired of driving. I know, right? Tired of driving on a road trip. Smart choice to go on a road trip. But yeah, this is the only train in the US where you can park your car on it and ride. And the destination it goes to is Virginia, which is my next stop, so it's perfect. Yeah, I think my eyes have almost been cleared up, so I'm gonna cancel the appointment I booked with the eye doctor nearby <laughs> because I was scared at first. So yeah, let's continue this road trip. Bye, train. And get out of this nasty place. Ugh. Oh my god, I was staying next to the IRS? I gotta get out of here. Maybe this rent is telling me that I should actually pay taxes. Train Auto 2. Okay. And lane number one over to the right, okay? Alright, thank you. Enjoy. You. I almost said you too, but I stopped myself. I am learning. Turn the vehicle off, leave the keys inside. Check okay. inside and have a safe trip. Hopefully they know how to drive it. That's a weird thing to leave behind. Do you need any help? I do. Can you let me get stuff here? Yes. Oh, I'm not enjoying myself. Okay. Alright. Um. Go up against the curb by the parking lot and wait for your vehicle there. It's giving birth. Thanks, man. So, how was that ride? 
not the best. The most challenging part was sleeping. Even though I had two seats to myself, not very comfortable. It probably would have been an A plus if I got a private room, but all of those were sold out. Yeah, 18 hours on a train and coach, I do not recommend it. I'm never gonna complain about a three hour flight from LA to New York ever again. But yeah, we're out of Florida now. So that ends this vlog. And so with that, thank you guys for watching. Comment, like, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys later. Bye! Ugh, gotta get some real sleep soon.